I was looking at coming to Dickinson, I visited one day, and one thing I noticed was that the classes were so small and that every student was talking. So I knew that in other universities, sometimes you could have classes of over 200 students, and I really didn't want that. I wanted to be known. And here, my professors all know me. Being a liberal arts college, most people think that you're going to come out of Dickinson and not be very goal-oriented or set in one direct path because you've been exposed to too many things and you haven't centralized. Um, I feel just the opposite. I think that the open-minded atmosphere here has been able to make my decision for me to go to law school and my other friends to go in the directions they want to go. Professors expect a lot of their students, but in a way that kind of pushes them to work harder and, and do better. Um, and among the students, they really, there's an attitude that you know, they're here to help each other out and study groups form all the time. The whole point of seminar, especially senior seminar, uh, is outside preparation. That's what college is all about. The, the work in high school is the work you do in classroom. Uh, but in college, you prepare outside of class. It's getting into classes when it all comes together. I don't think students who graduate from Dickinson appreciate how very well prepared they are to succeed in the real world, quote unquote. The, uh, uh, we do a lot of writing here. Uh, I have a lot of speaking opportunities in my class, a lot of opportunities to think, uh, uh, think about issues and process new ideas and try to integrate them into your own uh, opinion and framework. Uh, that's, what, that's what makes for successful people on the outside. Yeah. environmental studies department we believe very strongly that students learn best by doing um, in order to to teach them best therefore we try to get them out of the classroom as much as possible and into the arena where the environmental problems are taking place in our introductory class we visit industries to learn about industries perspective on environmental problems and some of the things that they need to face in order to meet environmental regulation. We do quite a bit of work in the field where we actually gather our own data and we ask students to draw their own judgments about the, the nature of environmental degradation as a result of uh, industrial discharge, for example, or as a result of acid deposition or other environmental problems. In that sense, then, we have students out in the field, we have students talking to community people, and we have students gathering for themselves as many different perspectives as we can help provide for them. The Spanish class that I took was excellent. It wasn't just grammatical. We were having great conversations in Spanish, uh, talking about different social issues, for example, AIDS. We were discussing it in small groups using the Spanish vocabulary that we had, learning new vocab words so that um, we were really applying ourselves and getting ready to use the language in the, the real world. Spanish is absolutely the second language in this country. And it's not just concentrated in, in New York and Florida. And there's large Spanish-speaking communities in central Pennsylvania. And since a lot of students are from this area, there's the chance of people having to speak Spanish at some, some point in their future is fairly large. And I really think that Dickinson is aware of these different, different needs, different possibilities. And so that's why one of the reasons why the language, language courses are so stressed here. 
think many schools you have a problem because you feel like you're in a bubble or isolated out from the real world. And this, the off-campus studies program at Dickinson really gives a great opportunity to students who want to study abroad and see what's out there and internationally. I was studying in the capital city of Quito in Ecuador and it was just a whole new experience for me in contrast to Dickinson. Um, I went to the Amazon rainforest, I went to the coast where they're primarily fishermen, um, I went to the pyramids in Mexico as well as having normal classes. Uh, when you see one of your friends that's been gone for a semester or two semesters and you talk to them again, you know, they, they inform you about a lot of the customs that they encountered there and a lot of the traditions. And even though you haven't gone necessarily, you kind of get a different aspect on how you look at that country next time that you think about it. When I came to Dickinson, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I just knew that I wanted to be exposed to a lot of different things. And music wasn't really what I was expecting to do. However, when I got here, the classes and my advisor, especially the cellist here, Nancy Vaughn, um, and the whole music department was very supportive and small enough that I really knew everyone. Um, so, <laughs> without really realizing it, I came here and became a music major. Coming from high school, I wasn't expecting to be as involved in music today as I am because of the bad experiences I had there. And Dickinson really helped um, give me more confidence in music and also showed me that music is something that you can do with the rest of your life and be successful at, which I never thought possible. I thought that you'd have to do something dull and boring with your life. I chose Dickinson for academics and athletics. Academically, their reputation is well known, and athletically, I knew that I could play here at a Division III school, where athletics is a priority, but academics comes first. I come from Bolivia, and the main sport down there is soccer. It's the most popular. I really love to play soccer, and I was given the chance to do that here at Dickinson. It's a Division III, but there, there's still a lot of competition. Sure record last season was 21 and 6 and we won our conference and just missed getting a bit to the national tournament which we hope to do this year. Our last season we finished 16-6 and that was really good that was our best ever for soccer and I think we have the potential to improve that because most of our players are returning. Well, I'm a senior now. I've been here for four years and I've had a lot of fun. Uh, I think that social life is really what you make it. There are a lot of opportunities on campus to get involved with activities such as sports or Greek life or uh, clubs. And I think that they can, you can be very, very busy and have a great time if that's what you want to do. There really is 
a lot to do around here, but you have to kind of look for what you want. Uh, for me, I joined the outing club, and through that, um, you know, I went climbing, and that's been the thing for me. Everything's authorized, man. Come on. Jeremy, out! Jeremy! Don't! Out! Out! It's just a video!